letter J, Sing Sing, both go off at 15 to 1. 2B, Danebo, and letter I, Island World, both go off at 8 to 1. 3C, Mugga T, and letter F, Slew of Gold, both go off at 4 to 1. 4D, Swing Till Dawn, 23 to 1. 5E, Bates Motel, 3 to 5, the favorite. 6G, Silver Supreme, 35 to 1. 7H, Deputy Minister, 9 to 2. A field of 10 outstanding thoroughbreds. A mile and a furlong, the track is fast. Here we go. Zero. Island Whirl on the outside has the early lead. Then it's Mugga T moving up very quickly. Mugga T takes over now by a neck. Island Whirl in second by a length. Swing Till Dawn is third. Then Bates Motel is in fourth. Slua Gold is fifth. And Danebo and Sing Two followed by Deputy Minister on the extreme outside. Two to Sing Sing. And Silver Supreme is tenth. The quarter in 23 flat. Mugga T has the lead by almost a length, and Island World is second by a length. Then Swing Till Dawn and Sing Two are heads apart. On the outside, moving up is Slua Gold. Then it's Bates Motel and Donebo. Again on the outside, Deputy Minister. Then two to Sing Sing, and four back is Silver Supreme, still in tenth. The half in 45 and 4 as they approach the far turn. Island World on the outside has a head in front. And Mugga T on the rail is now second by a length. Then Swing Till Dawn, Slua Gold heads apart third and fourth. Danebo in fifth and Deputy Minister is sixth. Bates Motel is still far back in seventh. Then it's Sing Sing and Sing Two, six to Silver Supreme. They round the far turn. Three quarters, nine and two. The pace has quickened. Island World has the lead on the rail by a neck on the outside. Here comes Bates Motel. Bates Motel alongside Island World between those two, Slua Gold. They're at the top of the stretch. Bates Motel on the outside leads the way by a neck. Slua Gold is second by two. Island World back into third. On the outside, Sing Sing. Slua Gold won't give up there at the eighth pole. On the inside, Slua Gold on the outside, Bates Motel. Their heads apart at the 16th pole. Bates Motel has a nose in front. Slua Gold on the inside coming on again. Those two to the wire. Slua Gold in front. At the wire, it's far too close to fall between Slua Gold and Bates Motel for win. The Sing Sing finishing third. The eighth race, Woodward Stakes. Time on the board, very fast. One minute, 46 and three fifth seconds. Good horse and everything was beautiful. Well, look, at you, this was a tremendous drive, and you told me that honestly you thought you had him beat from the eighth pole. Oh, when he moved on me on the quarter pole, I thought he got me because I watched his races and he always blew by horses and draw away. When he stayed with me for the eighth to the mile, I thought I got it. You know, I have very confidence. After the eighth pole, my, conf my confidence kept building up because my horse kept digging in, and his horse, he kept digging in, in there, but he wasn't getting anywhere. So I know I have a lot of horse. My horse been running mile and a quarter, mile and a half, so I was very confident after the eighth pole. Well, you did a great job. Congratulations, Angel Cordero. A brilliant ride on Slew of Gold. We'll be back with more action from here at Belmont. Right a mile and a quarter event offered a gross purse of $400,000. The field of nine included Bates Motel, the odds-on favorite, Gatto del Sol, the second choice in the wagering, and Slew of Gold. On the inside, bold style. On the outside, slew of gold. Farther out, deputed testimony. Farther out again is Hyperborean. Bold style, Hyperborean. Now the speed horse, Hyperborean, gains the lead by more than a length. Bold style on the rail, second by a half. Slew of gold is in third by only a head. Deputed testimony moves up right alongside slew of gold. And now those two are overtaking bold style and moving up on Hyperborean. They're going to all challenge for the early lead as they reach the back stretch. Hyperborean has it by a half. Slew of Gold is second by a length and a half. Bold Style on the rail is third as Deputed Testimony has now dropped back into fourth. And it's May Day 80. Bates Motel is far back. Alongside Bates Motel is Sing Sing. Then it's Highland Blade and Gatto Del Sol is in ninth. The quarter in 24 and 1. The half in 47 and 2. It is an honest pace. Now it's Slew of Gold taking the lead. Cordero has it by about a length. Hyperborean on the rail, second by three, then Bold Style and Deputed Testimony. Two back to Mayday 80, Bates Motel and Sing Sing. Then about three to Highland Blade and Gatto Del Sol. They're on to the far turn. Three quarters, 11 and one. Slew of Gold on the outside leads by a length and a half. Hyperborean on the rail, second by about a length and a half. Then it's Bold Style. On the outside, Bates Motel is now beginning to move. They approach the top of the stretch. Slew of Gold leads by three. 
Now McCarran has moved Bates Motel into second. Deputed Testimony is right alongside in third, then Bold Style. Highland Blade is right there. They're at the top of the stretch. Slew of gold far from the rail leads by a length. And right behind him is Bates Motel. Bates Motel now gaining a little bit on Slew of Gold on the inside. Here comes Highland Blade. Highland Blade is challenging Slew of Gold and Bates Motel. Bates Motel on the outside. Slew of Gold between Highland Blade on the rail. Highland Blade on the rail has the lead. It's a great battle between Slew of Gold and Bates Motel. But Highland Blade comes along inside to nab them both for the biggest win of his career.